hello everyone and welcome back uh, to my channel uh, today we will see that how we can calculate uh, on the dislocation density of a sample uh, even we can do it from the scanning electron microscope uh, from tunneling electron microscope uh, and also from the xrd so in this case we will do it uh, from the perovskite xrd and uh, first of all we need to know that what is uh, dislocation density dislocation density is actually the mismatching of the planes or the atoms or the molecules or the crystals in a certain region uh, for example we have the dislocation lines uh, per unit volume so we will call it the dislocation density and even for the two dimension surface like here for example we have the two dimension surface as we can see in the same image of the beruskite so we have some bright region and we have some dark region in these green boundaries. So the dark region refer to the dislocation of the uh, microstructure over there. So in that case, we will have the uh, number of lines of the dislocation or the dislocation number of dislocation divided by uh, area in that surface. So which is uh, denoted by del is equal to 1 by d square and d is actually the uh, particle size as we have calculated in the previous video however i will also do it in this video so that we can have good hands on this so let's uh, let's do it so uh, for that we we we, we should have the xrd of our material so i have in this case the xrd of our material uh, this is actually the Two theta region on x axis and y is the intensity y axis is the intensity of the uh, sample so let me draw the graph first we will make it a little bit better so that we can make it easy and uh, however if you are going to write your research paper so you should take care of all the peaks i'm just doing for the sake of example so let's say uh, let's say 10 and for example of 40 it's okay 45 and okay make it a little bit more so that we can see it now as usual we will go for the analysis and then we will go for the peaks and baseline then we need to have the uh, peaks or uh, the multiple peaks over here and here we should take care as I mentioned before the function should be Gaussian function and then we have to pick up all the peaks by double clicking on it okay so let me do it carefully okay open it now click on the uh, fit until converged okay now let's see done we will have a table over here so let's see what we have okay minimize it go to the table here we have the table where we can find out the position of the peaks with respect to the uh, degrees or angle okay or here this is actually the angle where we have the peak position just copy it and we have an excel file here we have to put this in here because this y x uh, x axis is the two theta values so we have to paste it over here then we need to have the theta and we can get it from two theta and then uh, we have to uh, convert the degree into radian and here we have the uh, full width at high uh, uh, high maximum at high uh, at half maximum here we uh, we can see that in this table here 
okay this is fwhm value and just control c and control v okay then we will also convert this uh, degrees into radians and then we will calculate the crystalline size by the formula is uh, i mentioned over here uh, d is actually the crystalline size crystallite size k alpha and divided by beta cos of theta and uh, as we have seen in the previous uh, Scherer equation that k is actually the constant Scherer constant which is uh, generally varies from different values but for the sake of example i am just taking it 0.9 and lambda is actually the x-ray source wavelength that is in also in angstrom and i have taken it in nanometers 0.15406 and beta is actually the f w h m and that is that should be in radian in this case and theta is the break angle and that should be also in radian so this is actually all the background and uh, we now just need to convert the values over here so let's me uh, let me do that here we just convert this to the theta so equal and uh, this should be divided by 2 so that we can get theta here this is the theta value apply all to all and similarly this is in degrees so we should convert it to the radian so equal radian and double click and this one close it enter this is in radian apply to all angle over here here this is also in degrees so we should convert this in radian okay double click take this column close it apply and apply to all values over here now we have to calculate the d and d is having this formula k alpha uh, k lambda divided by beta uh, cos of theta so we just need to have the formula so i will say equal k is over here as we can see k is 0. 0. 0.9 multiply by a lambda lambda is in the nanometer 0. 1, 1 sorry yeah. 0 0.15406 okay close it and divided by beta beta is actually fwhm and that is in radian so we should take this column okay so and multiply this by cos of theta so we should say cos and the theta is over here in the radian so we take this close it close it and enter it okay so this is actually the crystallite size in nanometers so apply this formula for all values okay now we have to calculate the dislocation density so for that we have the formula 1 over d square so i will just say this is actually the d okay the crystallite size so here we have to calculate 1 divided by d square so for the d square we should have power okay and this is the number in comma 2 in just enter it okay so this is actually the crystallite uh, uh, size this one and here is the dislocation density and we can apply it to all values this is actually in uh, one word nanometer square we can also take it uh, in millimeter square and so on it is up to you 
so this is actually uh, the dislocation density and we can calculate in this way we easily also we have uh, other uh, computer software where we can do it but this is one of the way we can uh, calculate the dislocation density and thank you so much for watching and subscribe my channel for upcoming videos and if you have any comments or any questions so let me know in the comments box thank you so much